There's just something about European cities in the middle of summer that I absolutely love. Everybody is out on their bikes, having drinks on the canals and the rivers, and the vibes are all around excellent. I recently spent a super relaxing summer's weekend in Berlin, and here is exactly what I got up to if you are planning a trip to this incredibly beautiful and creative city. Good morning friends, welcome to Berlin. My holiday time here started yesterday, so we've got just under 48 hours left to experience the city. It is a stunning weekend, like blue skies, over 30 degrees, so I really only have one mission this weekend and that is to enjoy it as much as I would a lazy sunny weekend in London. So it's wandering around discovering new areas, going to cute coffee shops and bakeries, finding some parks, maybe I'll go see if I can find a, a rooftop view. So I thought I would bring you guys along and maybe it will give you some inspiration if you are planning a trip to what I think already is an incredible city. Before we head off, a quick recap from last night. I started by going for a stroll around the sort of like museum area. I think it's called Museum Island. If you come here, you have to do this at golden hour. It was probably one of the most like beautiful, enchanting walks I've ever done. There are musicians everywhere. The way the light is hitting the building is just stunning. So definitely add that to your list. But today, you know how we're going to start it and it is going to be with a really good coffee and a really good brunch and as per usual I have saved way too many places to my Google Maps so let's go and start a lovely lazy weekend in Berlin with some really good food. By the way if anybody is wondering what life is like traveling as a content creator it is a million different bags, a million different cameras and a lot to carry. <laughs> I've just finished up breakfast at Annalise, what a lovely little coffee shop, really really tasty food and now we're off to explore the area. I believe there is a food market, there is a donut shop, there are some cute gardens around so let's go and have a look at those. a fair few hours later as you can tell by all of my makeup having melted off my face and that is partially due to the 30 degree heat that we are having today but it has been amazing. I spent the afternoon wandering around this area so just kind of strolling through the suburban streets, popping into some nice little small shops, stopping in at a cafe, reading my book, having a bunch of lemonades and then I ended up at this place on the waterfront that uh, like has beer and all these different types of like food market places so a lovely way to kind of finish off the day and I am now here at this place I don't know how to say it but basically it's the rooftop and you can get like cocktails here you can get coffees and drinks here in the morning and it has the most incredible view of the Berlin skyline so I'm going to stop talking and insert all the pretty videos I took of the skyline at sunset and I will see you in the morning Dance slow and looks at me She must be the sunlight Shines a little more tonight I know I try To make her mine We have 
a couple of hours left in Berlin before we have to fly out, but my very first task of the day is trying to fit all of my stuff back into my personal item size approved backpack, so wish me luck. It's just never quite as easy packing everything back in as it is for when you're packing to go on holiday. I don't know. Okay, we made that happen as best I could. I think I'm gonna have to do some creative reshuffling when I come back and pick my backpack up later. But for now, let's go see how much we can fit into the next couple of hours here. Okay, first up, we're off to explore this area. I have been lured here by the promise of an amazing bakery and also a recommendation from a friend on some streets to explore. So let's go and see what it's like. And I'm putting my sunglasses back on right now. I've not been the best with my timings this morning. That pastry shop had a very, very, very long line. It was well worth the wait, honestly. Incredible pastries. I ate the Danish, the seasonal Danish, while I was there, and I got a morning bun to take away for my airport snack, which I'm very excited for later. But that does mean I have to unfortunately cut today a little bit short because I have to run to the airport. So I was going to head up to Mal Park to go to their Sunday flea markets and then also to try a kebab shop around there. So I will pop both of those on the screen so you can add them to your itinerary. But I have actually already been in Berlin for a few days now with Get Your Guide doing a bunch of their tours and activities. So I'm going to roll that footage now to give you some more ideas for things you can do while you're visiting. I was here for a Get Your Guide conference with a whole bunch of other travel creators and basically we got to spend a whole day just hopping around Berlin doing some of their activities. Things started with a brunch experience which is definitely the best way to start a day. This is at one of Berlin's favourite cafes and it comes with champagne and not just one but two courses so let's all have a moment for this magnificent indulgent French toast please. Next on the agenda was a boat tour along the River Spree. We were absolutely spoiled with the weather on this day and I love seeing the city from this perspective. But given how beautiful the buildings are, I could also see a sunset cruise being super beautiful and romantic, so I will just have to add that to my list for next time I'm visiting Berlin and not solo traveling. <laughs> Lastly, we headed for an immersive art exhibit. There are so many options for art activities in Berlin, from traditional galleries to street art tours to modern museums, there is a lot to choose from. But I really liked this light-based one that we did because it was concise and interactive so it was really easy to fit into the day and a great option for groups. This video isn't sponsored by Get Your Guide but I will pop the links to all of these activities and some other options in the description bar which if you decide to purchase through does help support my channel. And that wraps up my Berlin vlog so thank you so much for watching. If you want more inspiration for a long sunny weekend in Europe, check out my Copenhagen vlog and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!